Hi everyone. This is a video about laser pointers. These cheap ones that you can purchase. Uh, but unfortunately, they are useless because uh, the battery consumption of the laser is so huge that these three button batteries that you have inside here they are not really uh, good for purpose so it, it takes three of them and as you use them they are going uh, flat very very quickly so my plan is how can you use the internal component of this in order to access the negative and positive and use the 18650 batteries rechargeable and still being able to charge the battery so I came up with an idea and it end up like this let's put this other battery out out of the way so this is a uh, dim you know rough idea that I wanted to do but still if you could access the negative and positive of this without getting the internal parts out still you can mount this or hot glue gun use hot glue gun to mount this over the battery and still be able to charge the battery 18650 battery and this is the charger Just to show you, most of the chargers, the top part is not covered. So easily you can put this in the charger while the device, the laser and the light, obviously they are switched off because these are the push buttons. So being able to recharge the battery and have a powerful laser pointer and a torch I am not using the torch I have torch torches much stronger than this so let's put this away and explain what had been done I took the internal part of the uh, laser pointer out and then got the positive cable soldered to the positive positive is here and the negative and soldered them I know I know it's dangerous we shouldn't sold, solder the batteries especially lithium ion batteries but I was very quick and as you see there are just a tad of soldering material there and I covered it somehow with a electrical tape and some board on the side to cover the sides and it is not bad but it does the job I guess my next project is just to access the negative and positive of this without breaking it. These are very cheap, four pounds maximum. And glue gun it directly onto the battery. And the look of it is going to be nicer. I obviously I have to cut it from this point or use the whole length of it. But it's really useless, you know. I wanted something to be compact and just 
to check the laser point I have to turn off my projector LED light which I have made and if you want to know which one is that uh, you can find it in my videos so we turn this off for the time being and then the battery of this is fresh just for demonstration obviously it is going to be much stronger uh, the one with 18650 battery so this is a light laser light of the original batteries and this is the new one so it's, it's much stronger and it's going to flood the other the other light laser light and then even the torch is strong this is this uh, the original and this is the new one so very simply with a little bit of soldering expertise and caution you can make this and I have to add a disclaimer that you know as you know laser is very dangerous you have to avoid pointing it into your eyes and the 18650 batteries uh, they are very volatile and you have to be careful there don't short it and uh, do what I did at your own risk so this was a short video about the laser gun and uh, laser sorry laser pointer and I have new videos coming about the projector lights that I have made if you remember and I want to modify it and make it more mobile and user friendly and I'm awaiting the parts to arrive and I will show you a short video as soon as they arrive and I assemble the parts on it and I show it to you so uh, just for the ending this video we turn on this light again to show how good this light is but I think with a diffuser screen on top of the LEDs it's gonna be even better so I have ordered a diffuser sheet and frosted diffuser sheet and I show you on my next video so until my next video take care of yourself and each other